Welcome back to the channel Stocks Market News. Beat the index. Today we'll speak about the situation on the stock market on Tuesday. The S&P 500 moved higher Tuesday, supported by a surge in tech and developing any expectations of an escalation in the Ukraine-Russia struggle after Moscow vowed to diminish military activities in Kyiv. The S&P 500 rose 1.2%, the Dow Jones Industrial Average added 0.91%, or 318 focuses, the Nasdaq acquired 1.91%. Roche is losing cash in Russia, Chief Executive Severin Schwan said in a meeting distributed on Tuesday, yet stays focused on giving medicine to patients there. Germany's H2 Mobility Fueling Station Network said on Tuesday it will get an additional $121 million over the course of the following five years to carry out more framework for energy component vehicles controlled by hydrogen. Tata Motors, India's top-selling electric car maker, said the expense of battery cells had expanded by around 20% as a result of a worldwide surge in raw material prices principally lithium, putting pressure on the company in the short term. Wholesome is leaving the Russian market, the world's greatest concrete producer said on Tuesday, the furthest down the line Western organization to stop the nation following Moscow's attack of Ukraine. Virtuoso Acquisition Corporation 2 declares 20 million unit IPO at $10 per unit. Every unit comprises of one portion of our Class A typical stock and 33% of one redeemable warrant. Worldwide demand for nickel used in batteries is supposed to rise over 20% this year on strong interest for electric vehicles, Japan's greatest smelter of the metal Sumitomo Metal Mining said on Tuesday. Pinterest stock exchange 2.3% lower pre-market Tuesday after Morgan Stanley experts downsized it to approach weight with an objective of $30, referring to numerous headwinds as purposes behind their cynicism. Shares in Barclays fell as much as 6% in early exchanging on Tuesday, after one of its top financial investors offloaded a $1.2 billion lump of stock in the moneylender at a markdown short term. Nielsen stock flooded by 22% in pre-market exchanging Tuesday after the TV evaluations organization consented to be gained by a consortium for $16 billion with opportunity to go to the market for a predominant proposition. Japan will boycott the shipment to Russia of valuable metals, particularly gold, in light of its intrusion of Ukraine, the Ministry of Finance said on Tuesday. United Health Group said on Tuesday it would purchase LHC Group for about $5.4 billion in cash, as the largest U.S. health insurer expands its home health services. Sony Corporation plans to present a new PlayStation membership administration this late spring with an end goal to drive deals. The new membership model, which comes in June, is like Xbox Game Pass, a membership administration utilized by Microsoft that permits purchasers to download various different computer games. Decathlon, the sportswear arm of a French retail realm confronting analysis for remaining in Russia since its intrusion of Ukraine, said on Tuesday it was presently suspending exercises in the country because of supply troubles. Robinhood Markets declared Tuesday that it will broaden its exchanging hours from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. ET. Johnson & Johnson said on Tuesday it would stop offer of personal care products in Russia, joining different organizations that have restricted their business in the country because of its intrusion of Ukraine. The Russian ruble rose above 7% to 83 to the dollar in Moscow on Tuesday prior to pairing a few increases, hitting an over one-month high close to levels last seen before Russia sent troops into Ukraine, while stocks finished one more unstable meeting in blended style. BHP Group Limited said on Tuesday it will put more than $10 billion in Chile to fuel development on the planet's biggest copper-delivering country for the following 50 years, yet just under specific administrative and monetary circumstances. 
Citigroup Incorporated anticipates that its income in Brazil should develop half over the course of the following three years, the CEO of its neighborhood unit said on Tuesday, adding that interest for warning administrations on consolidations and acquisitions stays solid in mid-2022. Russian tech designers are building an option in contrast to Alphabet Incorporated's Google Play Store and plan to send off it on May 9, a public occasion in Russia that celebrates triumph in World War II, the association behind the drive said on Tuesday. DHL Express Division, an affiliate of Deutsche Post DHL Group, hit an arrangement with Cargo Jet Incorporated which would give the German organization a choice to purchase up to 9.5% value stake in the Canadian firm. Lucid Diagnostics Incorporated shares rose 5% on Tuesday after Cantor Fitzgerald examiner Ross Osborne emphasized an overweight rating and $12 cost target. The Pentagon deferred its choice to grant an undertaking wide joint warfighting cloud capability contract that could be esteemed as much as $9 billion to December from April, the Pentagon's central data official said on Tuesday. Would you like to know more about the Tesla split? Click the previous video on our YouTube channel.